Well, Ed, it's time to tell people what they've been missing if they're not going to Life and Liberty Media news sites. Well, I think they should go to www.LibertyToday.tv. Why? Well, because that's where you can read and see and view some of the things we'll be talking about. Let's talk about some. One was Denny's new surcharge. Isn't that amazing? It's an Obamacare surcharge imposed by John Metz, who runs about 40 Denny's in Florida, and he also owns a franchise called the Hurricane Grills and Wings. So there's going to be a surcharge at Denny's. It's the Obamacare surcharge. So when customers come in, they know why they're paying extra. Mm-hmm, I see. And I see here that there's uh, an article about Al-Qaeda and how it's on its heels and that I guess we don't have to worry about them anymore. I guess not. Gary Howey, one of our contributing authors, talks about the president saying at least 32 times during the course of uh, a few days or a short time after this Benghazi tragedy that Al-Qaeda is on its heels. Well, I think he'd have a tough time selling that to Chris Stevens' family. Yeah. Gary says uh, he wonders how many more ambassadors, embassies, and U.S. citizens uh, remain vulnerable. Well, but that's serious. You, you said, uh, you, did you say it was an embassy? Because, you know, that's one of the things they changed in the report. Well, it's a mission. Yeah, whatever it was, there are four Americans that are dead. Yes, there is. And uh, Adrian Hartman had an excellent piece about uh, righteousness exalts a nation. Yes, that was on our News and Faith site. And she says it's up to the church to determine what kind of nation America will be. I think she's right. Absolutely. I love this line. As for me and my household, we will trust God. Yeah. She says, will you trust government or will you trust Almighty God. Mm -hmm. And there's one you almost missed, but it was a wonderful prayer you posted, the post-election prayer. And uh, the thing I liked about it is that uh, you're praying, God, bring America back to the Bible and guide us by your Holy Spirit. Absolutely. That's a marvelous prayer. We should all be praying it. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering when I first saw this article, uh, Bank of America sued for allegedly uh, fraudulent loans. Was this about Barney Frank? <laughs> well, no, not really. Oh. I think he had a hand in all of that. But Gary Howey, again, talking about an issue that's important to America and to South Dakotans. What, what's happened is these, these big banks sold fraudulent loans, or at least that's the allegation. And those who are in the know seem to believe it's true. Well, he's wondering then, should we pump more trillions of dollars into the economy to aid a recover, or should we just undo all of the regulatory damage and let the economy recover on its own? Great mm -hmm. article. You should go read that. And you know, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I wrote an article. Uh, it's called, It's Not Just the Economy. Well, yes, and I think that's, that's a topic that many of us would prefer just would go away. Mm. And here you are, rubbing salt in the wound. <laughs> Well, I was speaking about the Supreme Court justices and the possible uh, stuffing of the court, if you will, in this next, uh, this next administration. We're hoping uh, that many of the conservatives stay on that court. Well, as the court goes, so goes the nation. Absolutely. And guess where we're headed? Mm -hmm. uh, Brad Ford, one of our most uh, intellectually enlightened authors, has uh, written an article on our Heroes website. And the title is, Should General Petraeus' Private Life Become Public Entertainment? Mm -hmm. Well, many of us think that's what it's been, is public entertainment. If not, distraction from the Benghazi debacle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At any rate, it's, it certainly seems to be an attempt to discredit the military. And Bob Ellis was with us uh, on this, uh, this last week or so. Yes, Bob is the owner and operator of the American Clarion. If you haven't been there lately, you will enjoy what Bob writes. He was kind enough to let us repost something he'd written uh, called The American Decline. Mm -hmm. And he suggests that Republicans are really not likely to uh, repeal Obamacare and the other assaults on the American way of life. We just didn't win. Absolutely. One of the things he said in here that kind of make me 
laugh and cry at the same time as he says the Obama administration's Ministry of Public Enlightenment. I laughed that at that. That would be the too. lamestream media. <laughs> Uh, another one of our contributors, Tammy Fenner, wrote an article titled, Voting Like the Liberals Want You To. And uh, Tammy has some unique qualifications, which we won't even go into here today, but she's done some research, extensive research, and she says, guess who gets more favorable airtime? Well, mm -hmm. it's the liberals, the liberal Absolutely. politicians. And then she, in her research, she shows that African Americans get twice as much of this because they watch twice as much television. That's yes. an interesting statistic. Absolutely. So African Americans are digesting twice as much liberal bias. Is it any wonder they vote the way they vote? Yes. Uh, I No, I mean, it, it's, there is no wonder. Well, make up that. your mind. Yes, no. no? no. Well, it, well, it was for it before I was against it. Okay. Well, go there and read it again. And <laughs> <laughs> maybe you have to read it to find out what's in it. <laughs> but here's what I like. Textbooks on the cheap. You like it because you wrote it. Yes. That too. Well, I, it's easy on the students. Yes. I'm trying to help the students of America learn about conservatism. God and bless you in that effort. there are some textbooks that are good. Yes. And Life and Liberty News is a good place to get information. You would really be blessed to go read some of the articles that these many authors are sharing on our news sites. And while you're at it, share them with a friend.